Hi, this is Bill Hinkle, and I'm your 13th district legislator from, from Clay Ellum. And uh, I represent all of Kittitas County, almost all of Grant County, and a little bit of Yakima County. For those of you who don't know what the 13th district is, we call it Lucky 13. Now, you know, the biggest question I get asked over here in Olympia, believe it or not, is how's your finger? Yeah, that's right. I, uh, I broke my finger completely off. Uh, it was just hanging by a thread uh, about a week before Christmas. And so it was pretty ugly, but there you go. It's on, it's attached, pins are out. Thank you for asking everybody. Let's talk on a little uh, more serious side though. Um, this is still, the budget seems to occupy everything we do here. Um, I have never seen so few bills come through committee and actually be voted on. And here we are at cutoff this coming Friday where all the bills that are supposed to originate in the House of Representatives have to be introduced and heard. So, uh, well, actually have to be introduced by Friday. The chances are if you don't have a bill drop right now by this week, uh, or be, maybe by tomorrow, you won't get a hearing. Frankly, most of the committees have scheduled all the hearings for the bills they're going to have, and it would be very tough to get a hearing. That said, I did drop a couple bills this year, or this Monday, I should say, that deal with trying to prevent uh, alcohol access for children. Uh, one is getting at uh, kids that are or people that are driving while under the influence with a minor and uh, also those who are actually buying alcohol for children and trying to increase penalties there. So I think these are two issues that we can really get at that we know are ongoing problems and will hopefully help some of the alcohol problems out there in our communities. Um, <clears throat> I want to talk briefly too about water issues and we get a lot of questions about water. There's still you know, it's kind of like the budget. We don't really know what we're going to see come out of uh, this session and out of the committee right now. There's still a lot of questions on where we might be. The environmental community is not waiting completely. There is lots of dialogue going in on water, whether it be a water banking bill. Um, I was talking to staff from the Democrat side today about um, uh, relinquishment issues, and we still are not sure if we're going to get a relinquishment bill out this year, but happy to say that both Representative Warnick, myself, Representative Chandler are... Uh, all working on this issue. And for those of you back home, especially in Clay Elm, it had such a, uh, Clay Elm and, and Lower County, Ellensburg, it had such a problem with the last flood. Um, I'm sure you were contacting the county all the time, at least uh, once or twice a week, trying to find out how things are progressing as far as recovery funds, um, especially getting some of the, uh, the dikes and roads built back up. And I think movement is going well there. We are seeing FEMA money come into the county. And we do appreciate your patience, and you know you have us over here advocating for you uh, on your behalf in that area. If you have any problems with communicating with the county or your emergency manager uh, back home, make sure you give us a call, and we'll see if we can not help you make a better contact there. Folks, uh, appreciate you watching, and uh, it's crazy time over here. Uh, we're still working at it, and uh, had a bunch of people come from district today. Great to see them talking about long-term and aging. Uh, a big issue. You know, we're, we're worried that we, you know, we're getting ready to throw some of our old folks under the bus, and that's really kind of a frustration for me. Um, we really need to help support our seniors and with some of the essential services they need, and I'm, I'm concerned that we may be cutting in areas that really we shouldn't cut while preserving other programs that really are new and unneeded. So the battle of the budget goes on, and uh, your help is appreciated, your patience. Uh, most of all, uh, if you can get down here, we'd love to have you. Um, our office will help facilitate your visit in every way we can. And, uh, but if you can't do that, give us a call, send us an email. We'd love to hear from you. And be part of the process and part of the answer. That's what our goal is this year. Again, thanks for seeing, uh, watching today, and uh, appreciate all the support we get back home. Thank you. This is Bill Hinkle again from Olympia, and hope to see you next week. Bye-bye.